Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today as always. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a portable Hackintosh um, that you can boot off a USB drive. Uh, for those of you that are un unfamiliar with a Hackintosh, and Hackintosh is um, a PC running Mac OS X. Um, now, there is a way to do this, but it's very complicated and it involves um, downloading like a patch to a hard drive and some coding and things like that. And it's a very complicated process. Um, but in this, this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can just uh, install Mac OS X. Uh, this is actually going to be 10.6.2. Um, you're going to install that on a USB flash drive, and um, when you're done with this tutorial, you should have a flash drive that you can just plug into any Intel-based PC and uh, boot Mac OS X. Uh, so without further ado, guys, let's jump on into this tutorial. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, you're going to need this thing that's called iPortable Snow, and this is kind of... Um, this is what we're going to use to download Mac OS X onto uh, the USB drive. Um, I'll have a link in the description where you can get it. So you're going to want to open that up, and you will see in here um, we have an installer and we have a PDF. Uh, you really don't need the PDF. You can guys just uh, listen to me. Um, but before we get into that, we're going to have to open up Disk Utility. And waiting for it to gather information. And you are going to need to uh, partition your USB flash drive. Um, so you want to go to the partition tab under volume scheme, just one partition, uh, name, you can call this whatever you want, but I'm going to call it iPortable Snow. And you want to make sure that you format it in a Mac OS extended journal. Uh, click apply and partition. All right, guys, now once your flash drive has partitioned, you want to go back into that iPortable Snow folder and you want to uh, double click on the DMG. And then you should be brought to the screen right here. From this screen, you want to click on the iPortable Snow 86, the one with the umbrella. That should open up Copycat X. And then you should be brought to the screen. Uh, click no, you don't want to install the newer version. Uh, so from here, you want to, under backup and restore, you want to click on this drop down arrow. And you want to make sure that you are selecting your iPortable Snow um, partition. You don't want to select any external hard drive or your Macintosh hard drive, that would just be um, bad because it would end up partitioning uh, your hard drive with something you don't want and that could cause a lot of problems. So once you selected the iPortable Snow Partition, uh, just click Backup and Restore. Uh, and then you want to click this little circle thing to the right of the um, this bubble to the right of the arrow and that should reverse them and click Start. Then it's going to ask you to uh, select um, a, uh, an image. And from here, you just want to click on the iPortable Snow um, little flash drive icon and then click on the umbrella again and click Open. I will ask you, are you sure you want to do that? And you want to click OK. All right, guys, once Copycat X is finished, um, then you want to come back to the screen right here and you want to click on First Aid. And then you want to click on iPortable Boot Fix. Uh, Continue, continue. This is the important part. When you get to the um, install location, you want to change that because as you see right now, if I were to just continue on, it would uh, put it on my Macintosh hard drive and that's not what I want. I want it to go on my iPortable Snow, so I'm going to click continue, install, and away we go. have to enter my admin password and we are off to the races. And just like that, very simple, very easy. And that's all there is to it, guys. Uh, you should now have a... Um, Mac OS X bootable USB drive. Um, it will work with any Intel PC, as I said earlier in the video. Uh, something I did forget to mention is that you need at least an 8 gigabyte flash drive for this to work. Um, but with that said, that's the end of this tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash Fisher12. If you're interested in Minecraft, youtube.com slash uh, Minecraft community. Um, that's pretty much it. All the links will be down below. I do have a new video series coming out on this channel um, about Wednesday or Thursday, so look forward to that. Um, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and take care.